We're going to get our Bibles out tonight, get in the Word of God. We've had a lot of you folks praying today. Appreciate that. Tonight, I want you to look and listen, and uh, you, not because I'm here, because the Lord's here, and what you're going to learn tonight, you are one of the most elite people in the country, because most people in America, even church people, have no idea of what is really going on in this world. I believe this. I believe by and large, the news media is controlled by the devil. I'm not saying everybody that's in the news media is lost. I believe there's some of them are saved and love the Lord, but very few. The even Probably even some of them, they're, they're controlled. The news only lets you hear what they want you to hear. And the news has got us, all they thinking about is, is all the shootings and stuff, and it's sad, and it's terrible. My heart goes out to everybody, every family, every, everyone in the nightclub, everyone in the, every family that's lost a loved one, my heart goes out to them. The police family, all of them. Amen? Amen. And um, I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's sad. And all they want you to think about is Donald Trump and Hillary and what's going on in this country, and you're not seeing what's really going on in this world. So tonight... We're going to see. I want you to listen. Take your Bible, turn to Mark chapter 5, and I want to show you a verse of Scripture here, too, here tonight. And then we're going to look here in the Word of God at some things here uh, that I feel like that would really, really speak to us this evening. Um, I want you to keep your eyes on the screen tonight when I start it and notice the dates of the things that I'm going to show you. It's very important that you notice the dates because I don't think I'm going to show you anything on here tonight that's longer back than April. And almost all of it is May and June and July. Two months. Two months. Things are happening so fast now. You have a shooting over here and a bunch of people get killed and that's all everybody talks about for a few days. Then you have another one the next week and we forget about that one and everybody talks about this one. You understand what I'm saying? A big old flood hit West Virginia the other day. They said the worst in a thousand years. You never hardly heard anything about it. You know why? There's so much stuff happening. Now 30 years ago, if a flood, only a thousand year flood would have hit West Virginia, it would have been the talk of the country for what? Relief. People coming, whatever. But now it's just, oh, well, I hate that. This is happening. That's happening. This happened. And it's picking up speed. Uh, you know that days will be shortened scripture. Uh, there's two ways of looking at that. Most pre- preacher, preachers, a lot of preachers, that the tribulation will actually be shortened. But that ain't really what it says. It said the days will be shortened. Two ways of looking at that. Could mean the day actually goes by faster. But I'm not saying it does. I'm just saying it seems like it's picking up speed, don't it? Everything's getting faster and faster and faster. Lordy mercy. Think of what's going on in this world tonight. Now, the infallible word of God is the final authority in what? All matters of faith and practice. Whatever the Bible says about science is right. Whatever the Bible says about raising children is right. Whatever the Bible says about marriage is right. Whatever the Bible says about government is right. Whatever the Bible says about raising a family, your, your, a home, working a job, building a church is right. Amen. Now so, whatever the Bible says about end times is right. And whatever the Bible says about prophecy is right. So the Bible tells us infallible word of God how to tell if a person is influenced or controlled by demonic spirits. It's in Mark chapter 5. It's easy. You don't have to have a fifth grade education to get this. Psychologists and psychiatrists give them pills, give them drugs, put them in homes. Do that. And, and some people do have physical ailments, but they have spiritual problems many times. Everybody's crazy ain't demon possessed. They have, some people have mental problems, but there is a close link in the Bible. Sometimes if there's a physical ailment, the devil will take advantage of that physical ailment and get in a person. And we won't take time to go into all that, but look at this man. Verse 2, and when he came out of the ship, immediately 
They'll met him a man out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. That's a demon. We say demon. The word demon's not in the Bible. Uh, it, we say it because uh, so, that's the terminology people use. But the actual term the Bible uses is devils, devils, wicked devils. And I'll notice how it describes a man who's possessed of a devil who had his dwelling among the tombs. He's obsessed with death, death metal, and death rock, and death, and dying, and I might as well die, and let's die tonight, and will, will you die for me, stuff like that. And no man could bind him. Couldn't control this fella. Out of control. No, not with chains. Look at it. Because he had been bound with fetters and chains. Holy Spirit put this in the Bible. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. And the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. That shows you two things. He had superhuman strength. People got around him and they couldn't hold this man down. Plum, he'd knock a whole crowd of them off of him. And it said nobody could tame him. You couldn't teach him. Out of control. Perilous, the Bible said. Times would come. Seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now, look at verse five. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying, just screaming out, and cutting himself with stones. Yeah. Isn't that something that the modern day trend of cutting and cutters and emos, as y'all call them, is in the Bible? Amen. Let me tell you something, buddy. The Bible's the most up-to-date book there is. Yeah. The news media is about 1,500 years behind the Bible, usually. Yeah. Science gets caught up about every 2,000 years and discovers something. Excuse me, but the Bible's way ahead in science, education, and religion. And it said that man that was possessed of demons cut. Kids, if you know somebody who cuts herself, you know somebody that's under the influence of demonic spirits. Watch this, old people. How many of you kids know somebody or go to school with somebody who cuts herself? Raise your hand, please. Hold them up for a minute. What's that, 90%? 90%. Put them down. We never heard of that when I was growing up. The only person I've seen cut herself when I was in school was a girl who liked a boy and she'd carve, take a pen or something, scratch his initial on her arm, and I thought she was an idiot. I said, there's something wrong with you. Amen? I thought, you're crazy. She cut, you know what they, you know what Lindsay Lohan and them say? They say we do it to relieve stress. They do it because they're possessed of the devil. Cutting himself. Remember that. And look, here's something weird. Verse 6. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. You wouldn't think somebody like that had anything to do with God. People who are demon possessed are obsessed with Jesus Christ. That's why they can't quit saying his name in rock songs. That's why they use his name as a cuss word. That's why they say, Jesus Christ, in the movie. I can't stand that. I can't stand here. I'd, I'd rather hear somebody talk nasty than to use his name in vain like that. I'm going to tell you something tonight, brother. A person who's obsessed with the name of Jesus is under the influence of demons. I didn't write this. This is the infallible definition of demon possession. Now, the Bible tells us in, in Luke 8, 27, you know, it turned to another, another narrative of this same fella that said he wear no clothes. He was naked. Public nakedness is a sign of demon possession. Public nakedness, a sign of demon possession. When a person wants to take their clothes off in public, when them people go down there that spring break and they start ripping their tops off and running the street naked and the drug that I'm going to show you here in a minute, brother, it's a sign of demon possession. It's a devil. It's a devil. And so tonight, with that in mind, I'm going to bring you up to date on how close we are to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm preaching on seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now tonight, I want you to look, if you would please, carefully at what you're going to see here tonight. And what you're going to see here tonight, and in just a moment, you, you can get them lights when I get a picture, okay? I believe I got it all right. I believe I got it all right. Let's see what we got here, and then you can get the rest of those lights. Listen to this. 
News report. A real strong, intense national debate about how much does America want to invest around the world. Uh, we, we're seeing a new world order now being built, a post-World War II a world order. And I don't think America can retreat from that. I think we have to balance and adapt and adjust uh, to the realities and the currents of this new world order. He said America cannot retreat from this. We're seeing a new world order built. They don't talk about that on the news. Look at here. Our country is being taught against patriotism and loving America. Business owner lines his property with small American flags in honor of Memorial Day. Hold oh, it. I want you to look now. I'm not going to do this whole message. Look at that date. About four weeks ago. Five. This ain't in the last ten years. This is the last few weeks. Someone in the city didn't approve of the patriotic gesture. Now those flags are gone. Maybe take the flags down off of his yard in America. Our colleges and professors in college are teaching young people to hate America. Yep. Yep. A lot of it's coming from the White House. Sure. People are not taught to respect or love the American flag anymore. They're trying to dumb America down and break America down and bring all the other countries up. You call that socialism. You call that spreading the wealth. That's what Hillary wants to do. That's what Bernie wants to do. That's what the President Obama, they call that uh, distributing the wealth. And that is communism, people. That is communism. I'm telling you tonight, they're against our national sovereignty of the United States of America. And a fight over flags on fire trucks is leading to new problems at a local firehouse. It's a they put the flags on fire trucks and the that they made them take them off in America. A department that's been in the news plenty in recent years. It's American people. The Yahoo's in the paper this when they're going the ISIS going into Syria. To going in ISIS, he compares our firefighters to ISIS going in to take over a country. How they put their flag on the truck. When they're going the ISIS going to take over a city, I don't think they need that big flag on the back of the truck because of the truck. Well, what are you worried about the big flag for, buddy? Move out of that if you don't like it. Our guys are going to put fires out to save somebody's life. They shouldn't be compared to a bunch of crazy people coming to, coming to kill everybody. Can you see what's going on? The Bible said the God of this world is blinded to what? Minds. See, they're not their eyes. They're mind. Can't think right. Your mind's blind. It's bad to be blind in your eyes. It's really bad to be your eyes. Your mind's blind in And your heart. I can't even think. What I'm going to show you tonight, the only way you can explain it is people's minds are blind. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind thinks like that. I got rid of cash um, for an entire month. Got rid of cash for an entire, ever how long he says here, he's done all his business with a chip implant to test it. I uh, didn't use any physical cards, so just digital means. Uh, and throughout the experiment, I wanted to... How come that ain't been on the news? They'll throw it in just a few seconds, and then it's Trump, Hillary, Trump, Hillary, Obama, speech here, college here, right here. Look here, here's the real news. To push myself and try to find what's the furthest like, possible extent of this future of payments. Are you fintech as a whole as a result of this, or is it... I is see really interesting bright future here. A lot of people are saying, really okay, Apple put out... In the entertainment industry. I can tell you that the number... Let me tell you what's wrong with Hollywood tonight. I've always preached this and I've always believed it. Sin is progressive. When you commit one sin, sin goes down. The, one of the filthiest places on planet Earth is Hollywood. Yep. Yep. It's a slime pit. That's right. Morally. Listen to what this young actor, many of you recognize him, what he says about what goes on in Hollywood. Number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. There was a circle of older men that surrounded themselves around abuse, but the added problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. There was a circle of older men that surrounded themselves around this group of kids. Older men in Hollywood messing with the little kid stars. Yep. Yep. And it's kept quiet and kept, all that stuff goes back to, through, uh, What's his name? Hugh Hefner? 
back to Alistair Crowley yep. and Kinsey. He made that Kinsey report. That man was hooked up with pedophilia, people. That means rape of little children. That's right. That's right. And the next generation of child molesters, there is one, will convince the world that it's born like that. They're already saying it. We're born yeah. like this. That's right. So it's normal. You said that'll never happen, preacher. The last you can never believe what we're seeing now would happen. Thirty years ago. And the Bible said words. Wood said he was lucky to have a moment. History a little bit. You wanna see history now? Here's your here's your high school in California. In what could be a first at Santa Barbara High School, the students choose a transgender student as their prom queen. Blue's bisexual classmate Sabrina Dabby was named King. The world is moving forward. You might as well move with it. Hear what she said? The world's moving forward. You might as well move with it. Now, somebody's wrong. You know what we believe? The world's going to hell 90 miles an hour. You better jump in the arms of Jesus while you've got a chance. A prom king? The world's moving forward? It's moving backward, people. There are 31 gender identities now in New York City. 31. Notice the dates. Notice the dates. Why wasn't this talked about on the news? Someone who identifies as gender queer is a person whose gender identity is neither man nor a woman. Jamie King loves his gender fluid clothing so you can't tell boys from girls. Making pretty little boys and girly little boys. Then now there's men who believe they're dogs. I'm telling you, the seducing spirits yep. have blinded their minds. This is very popular in the UK. They get it first in Central California, and it works its way back to us. Human pups. The nation of the dog. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Oh, the bee one. Ain't that something? On this morning show in the UK, interviewing them. That's so sad. He was crowned Mr. Puppy, UK dog featured on tonight's show. It's a man, man. Right? I mean, I'm, I mean, I know it's funny, but what does your daddy? Somebody. Sorry. Look at this. You don't see how you don't think their minds are blinded? These people are at a wedding ceremony, getting married to the ocean. They are marrying the ocean. Now, these are the people that say Christians are crazy. Here we go. Watch this marriage. But just keep in mind that we're going to go around and any vows that you want to make to the sea or to water, um, you know, you'll have it in us. We now pronounce you married to the sea. Congratulations. <laughs> Now this is one of the strangest things I've ever seen. 2016. How come you didn't see this on the news? Why didn't they talk about it? The world's longest tunnel just opened in Switzerland. A few weeks ago, June 1st, five weeks. I want to show you the ceremony. Nothing wrong with making a tunnel, but I want to show you the ceremony at this opening of this tunnel. You want to see something weird? Switzerland ahead of us, y'all. Watching, uh, you're watching the opening ceremony of the world's longest and deepest rail tunnel under the Swiss Alps. It's uh, officially been like a meeting of the United Nations. When you celebrate science in ceremony, included some. Excuse me, speaker. I get claustrophobic just thinking about that tunnel. <laughs> that, I, I guess it was at one of the two entrances. Look at the old C and I. Look at the goat representing Satan. She joins us uh, now uh, watching uh, the ceremony. I was just saying there, uh, Imogen, um, this you know, very enjoyable spectacle with dancers and I presume some people that have taken part in the project. Immensely proud the Swiss the Army of Swiss for so many reasons. The sacrificial goat, or lamb rather. Isn't that weird? 
What in the name of the Lord has that got to do with opening a tunnel, people? Look at this. Seducing spirits. Look at Satan's eyes. Hear him scream. Tormented souls. Look at the devil's eyes. See here? And watch his face turn into the goat's head. See him coming down? There's the nose. What's the goat's head take over? It's a strange way to celebrate in the tunnel over there. That's seducing spirits. This man's system, when he attacked a Brevard officer. Now this man here, I think he's 40 years old, something like that, on the drug, street drug they now call Flocka. When a person on this drug, they say it's the most amazing drug that's ever been found yet, immediately they say something enters you when that drug gets in your body. Your eyes roll back, you turn into an animal, you have superhuman strength, you get demon possessed. Watch it tonight. They tased this fella two times. He fought the police off, jerked the taser out of his body, and took the policeman's badge away from him and attacked him with it. Superhuman strength. Remember that scripture I read you in the when police say 41-year-old Kenneth Crowder ran around naked through this Melbourne neighborhood. You hear that? Remember the scripture? Saying that he was God and perform Save but we're told he didn't go down in fact he apparently pulled the probes from his torso and went after the officer grabbing his badge and using it as a weapon well, that guy had superhuman strength hear that i just read it to you out of the bible south carolina naked man claims he's god that i have never seen that's for sure mark reveals he heard god talking to him and i was waiting for a phone call and well, God told me to sit here and wait. But the truth is, God wrote about me 2,000 years ago. He wrote about me in a book. It says that I can do whatever I want. He said God wrote about this night, his years son ago. was the guy police shot. He thinks he's Jesus Christ. He is very mental. He he's, he's been Jesus in Lakeview Christ. in the pavilion, and he tells us he's Jesus, kill Michael, and he has to go eat with the disciples was driving him to meetings on Wednesday morning. He was imagining that he was the second coming of Christ. He was not. He was. Did y'all hear me read that a minute ago? Yeah. He's obsessed with Jesus. None of them say they're Allah. None of them say they're Muhammad. I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus. I'm God. I'm Jesus. Where does that come from? Can, those spirits are jealous of Jesus. And they try to imitate Jesus. Not normal arrested a woman who they say ran her car into a Walmart store on purpose. The incident happened around an officer at the scene says the marshal told him that the rapture was coming and that God told her to do it. Ain't that something? The man sold pizza, said he was God. Woman runs into Walmart. Police stole a box of pizza, said he was God and everything was his. The naked, remember that? Remember the scripture? Jumped into a line closer, thought he said was God. Christ. But the two main players have been invited. France is hosting a conference in an attempt to revive the Israel-Palestinian peace process. Now, I know you young people don't know much about this, but the Israel-Palestinian conflict is one of the oldest conflicts in the world. It's that same old story of Isaac and Ishmael. He that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit. Without a lesson on that tonight, God gave the land to Israel. The promises of God come from Abraham through Isaac and not through Ishmael. And God gave that land to the Jews, not the Palestinians. Amen? Considered one of the world's right. longest the running conflicts. Conflict. This initiative has this initiative all. Has it all. Watch it tonight. Look at this. The scientists. Now here's something that's happened in the last few weeks. And you never heard about it on the news. CRISPR. And CRISPR is the, what they're doing. They're messing around with DNA, and for the first time in history, they can now alter human DNA, already experiencing it, so you can have superhuman kids. Your kids can be smarter, better looking, and more better athletes. The scientists, the awesome power to tinker with the software of life. For thousands of years, 
humans have bred horses in much the same gradual way nature does. But soon, they could actually be designed in the lab, along with other livestock, plants, and even humans. Because a new technology has made editing the genome almost as easy as using a word processor. This game-changing technology is one of the most powerful in the entire history of science. This is one of the most powerful discoveries in the history of science, and 90% of y'all never even heard of it. You know why? The devil wants all you to worry about somebody getting shot or a police officer getting shot, and I'm, that's bad. I'm not, I'm not minimizing those things. But the real news is he's whipping up the world getting ready for the Antichrist to step out while we're, while we're up taking it with all this other stuff. Perhaps comparable to the splitting of the atom. The CRISPR revolution is already happening in research labs worldwide. For better or for worse, every life on Earth will soon be affected by our ability to reprogram the software of life. Did you hear that? Everybody on Earth will soon be affected by our ability to reprogram the software of life. They're going to create a super race. I, I didn't want to let... Uh, if, if there were a test that would be uh, predictive of uh, superior intelligence or superior athletic ability uh, in their children, well, they would want to have it. Um, you better believe people would do it. Now they're trying to smart cities. And a smart city, Denver, Colorado is trying to become the first smart city, it used to be just in science fiction movies where the government never knows exactly where everybody is, what everybody's doing, all on computer. Sea change. Our smart city proposal will create connections and ladders of opportunity for everyone. Denver's plan starts with an intelligent data ecosystem which will gather information from RTD, police, and private companies and make it available to anyone. Everybody knows everybody, like in the science fiction interview anywhere. Seoul, which is on the line right now, a city at a tipping point. Denver, Colorado is at a tipping point. Back at least four people killed when two gunmen opened fire. Look at the terror attacks. Bestiality is now legal in Canada, says the Supreme Court. That's a mess. I told you about the mess with kids, mess with animals. That's next. That's already going on all over the United States. Brother Scott, they busted some elite rich people in Texas and took away their party dogs. Big German Shepherds that all the rich people party with and commit filthy acts with. You ever read the Old Testament where old David had to hold them, them horses? And hold them? You ever wonder why God, when they go in there, they had to kill women and children? Don't you? And that sounds awful. That's because those people were practicing this stuff. They had to kill animals and everything. some incredible image with one of its traditions at graduation gowns will be gender neutral no more whites for girls blue for boys the superintendent says it goes well beyond the transgender issue the time has come to no longer separate students by gender and to demonstrate a more inclusive practice at graduation the time has come to no longer separate students by gender no more boys girls it's going to get worse watch this he predicts ne next year at this time, gender-neutral cap and gowns will be a nationwide trend. In the world we live in... Listen to this testimony. Listen to this testimony. We set up two distinct categories, man and woman, that everyone must choose between. But that doesn't actually reflect the full diversity of the human experience. Within the categories of man and woman, there is incredible diversity of gender expression. And some people, like me, don't really feel good in either category. You know, that's somebody's kid, y'all. I mean, pray for it. That's somebody's kid. That's somebody Jesus died for. He said, some people, like me, don't fit in either category. Not a man or a woman. 
All you people got your kids in public school, I ain't, I ain't trying to be a smart aleck, but you're going to have to make some hard decisions here in the next few years. Really you better be prepared for it. But they're going to be teaching your kid that maybe they're really not a boy. They're just in a boy's body. And if a kid could go to school now and say, I feel like a girl today, he can go in the wet girl's bathroom and showers. And that's all he has to say is, I feel like a girl. They're not allowed to stop. Or they'll be threatened with a lawsuit. Instead of choosing, we want to live in a world where gender and sexuality can be more fluid, more playful, and can exist outside of such explicit sorting between one category or the other. Inside the testimony was Victoria Johnson, who was a... June the 10th, this is the testimony of this woman and her daughter. Listen. Accompanied by her mother, Davina. I was a proud mother of a son and a daughter. And within the last year, I became a proud mother of a daughter and a daughter. Her little boy turned into a girl, and she's proud of it. That little kid don't even know. That kid's been taught that junk. Yes, sir. Then on the other hand, uh, you had parents who talked to... Look at this. Non-binary. That's neither male nor female. She's now a legal gender. Where's, where's the news at, people? How come y'all didn't know this? For the gun sounds, the fastest 3A girls in the state cross the finish line of the 100 meter run. Hayes' Natafon Wayak is among them, but Wayak's story is different than any other runner at the state championships. She was born a male. It is not fair. Thank God this woman's got a little sense. And it is not right for our female athletes, and we have a responsibility to protect our, our girls. A school spark. Now, don't you look at this story right here. That woman's right. It ain't fair. It ain't right for a boy to say, well, I feel like a girl, so I get to play on the girls' basketball team. That's not right. Lord, have mercy, people. That's, you, you, you sit there and you think, no, no. How can be the God of this world has blinded their mind? The mind's blind. The mind is blind. They can't think straight. You can't think common and level-headed with common sense. To say you're a boy and you're a girl is not being prejudiced. You know, God has, is a God of differences. God is a God of variety. He's a God of He's a God of variety. He makes different colors. He makes different kinds of trees, fish, animals, birds, and people. The devil wants to get everybody together and make everybody one to worship him. Now you're not going to believe this. Look at what happened to this little boy at school. Outrage for calling the sheriff's office on a seven-year-old for handing out, get this, Bible verses. They called the sheriff. The school called a sheriff on a seven-year-old boy for handing out Bible verses. To classmates, a teacher at the elementary school in Southern California, Southern California, banning the Bible note like these during lunch, saying there should be a separation of church and state. A sheriff's deputy even showed up. At showed up at their house. The sheriff comes to the... Now listen to me. Listen to me. A boy goes to school and says, I feel like a girl. I'm going to take a shower with girls. And he's protected by the law. Right. A kid wants to hand up Bible verses. And the sheriff comes to his house. That's right. That's it. At the boy's house and told him and his mom to stop because someone might get offended. Well, this... Bless God, what about his rights? What about the seven-year-old boy's rights? That's men who dress up in diapers. I won't even go into that. That's a, that's a fetish they have. That continues now. It is now officially the worst mass shooting in American history. A man with an assault rifle stormed an Orlando nightclub. Police say at least 50 people are dead. Look at that. They're shooting back and forth. Oh my God, they're all shooting back and forth. People, you know, shocked that something like this has happened here in uh, the United States. We'll tell you something right now. I ain't a prophet, but I ain't stupid neither. You ain't seen nothing yet. That's right. What's going to happen? That's right. You can't tell little boys or little girls and send a sheriff to a cop kid's house right now to Bible verse and expect God to straighten out the mess this country. Oh. Oh. The judgment of God. I'm going to fall. I'm reading your Bible. See what God 
did when a nation did this. You can't do it. It cannot be done. You know what they call me? A preacher of hate. I don't hate nobody. I love everybody up there and in the whole world. I want everybody. But right is right and wrong is wrong. But they are saying that uh, my team, they're calling him an Islamic State fighter now. They're claiming him as one of their own. Look here, warning, the scene. It's as big as I've seen it for 20 years, man. At Cronulla last night. Waterfront restaurant was swallowed up by the massive swell. And then got a show. Sea Level Restaurant living up to its name as giant waves washed through the glass windows. We've been here for 19 years and we've had some high seas in Southern California. People still talking about it now. A magnitude 5.2 earthquake hit just after one this morning, about 13 miles north, northwest of Borrego Springs. Everything was just moving. And I was just, I was really freaked out. The story Wednesday about loud, sometimes violent explosion-like sounds near Highway 7, we received more calls, tweets, and... Now this is something we're going to go into. A lot of places, a lot of cities now are hearing loud explosions and they don't know what it is or where it's coming from. You say, what is I don't know. Could be something going on down underneath us. Getting ready to happen. Could be something in the air. I don't know. Emails from viewers like Patty Soulsberg. And then I saw your story at 6 o'clock. Another drug known as Flacco. This drug here, Flocka, started out down here in Florida. It spread all over the place. It's bath salt and some chemicals. Man, it's in North Carolina now. We just heard about a case the other day in Morgan and where our church is located. Look what this drug does to people. They say it's ten times more powerful. Heroin, cocaine, they get possessed with the spirit the minute. It hits them and drug known as Flacca is spreading rapidly across the United States and already causing an epidemic of overdose fatalities and acts of violence. Talk about Flacca. Flacca. The drug is called Flacca. Some have dubbed it the insanity drug. And it's everything. It's been described as the scariest drug in the world. More powerful than heroin or cocaine. This is a synthetic drug that can alter your state of mind, raising excited delirium, body temperature, and literally losing their mind. They're all experiencing like superhuman It takes six policemen to hold them down. That's a problem. Psychotic breakdowns, hallucinations, cannibalism, and self mutilation. Nobody violence. When Flocka takes over, we are living in the context of the end of the age. We are living in the end of the age, a man said. We're living in the end of the age, kids. You're not. The world's not your friend. That boy gets you to try to smoke that weed or drink that beer or go to that concert and that girl and tries to get you to have sex with that boy. Not your friend. Amen. Not your friend. Watch what they do. We are a nation under judgment. Long theorized that controlled substances can bring people closer to the zombie apocalypse. It's been long theorized that controlled substances can bring people closer to the spirit world. Sometimes, however, what comes out of that experience isn't what you'd expect. And right now, our society is an epidemic of controlled substances. In the 1970s, people were talking about peace and love, but nowadays people are coming back from bad trips and total psychosis. The number of overdoses are up, as are the cases of total zombies like bath salts or flat can be the ingredient that pushes you over the edge, an edge that you will never come back from. Weaponized substances, days to be experimenting with new things. These are not the days to be a party kid. Nefarious agendas are at play and just about everything to do you in. This recent craze of legal highs, for example, has become epidemic in proportion. Coupled with the outbreaks, this all has the potential to doom an entire generation like never before. Our message is clear. Don't be a guinea pig. Whatever is out there circulating on the social state is not 100% positive. Whatever you're thinking about is not worth the experimentation. Even alcohol handles spirits. If you go to a liquor store in British English society's hard liquor is called spirits. And at times the affected individuals are unaware. And while most of us... example of demonic possession. The way they do it in movies and stuff is fake. This is the way it really causes you to do. Remember the scripture. Dismiss their drunken behavior as simply being drunken behavior. There is something else going on. The dark side is constantly trying to induce what's called mutation by design. It's the main reason why everything you buy is laced with chemical or unnatural. Similar to ecstasy, but far more deadly. 
Here's Bobby Brooks with our NBC station here inside. All the rumors we've heard now seem more like fact. The side effects of superhuman strength. Your body temperature rising. Did that man knock that door down with his bed? That's why this person not through the door, door mother. Seven men came to his clothes. clothes off and ran around town right here in Fort Lauderdale. We see and hear. And just odd behavior. Five. After police this say she was violently attacked was by a man high on Flocka inside a Riviera Beach home. A young man on Flocka. Flocka. Known as Flocka and thought someone was He's going to kill him. A relative of Morrison said. Obsessed with death. June 21st, 2016. Where's the news? Where's O'Reilly? Where's Megan? Where's little Donnie Lemon? Or persimmon. Or that? Oh, they might throw it in for 10 seconds and then talk about Hillary and no. While the Antichrist is trying to breed yeah. a new generation. Gene editing. So, so for people who haven't been paying attention, CRISPR... For people who ain't been paying attention, that's all of us. All United States. Is this amazing new technology that allows you to do genetic engineering with an ease in human and plant cells that was not possible. And I think this will be the first time that it's actually used in people. Yeah. This is unprecedented. Yeah. Which is. Scientists have been trying to figure out how to get men pregnant so they can have babies now. Girls now, they're instructed in schools not to call students girls because it could offend the transgender students. What about the regular people's rights? What about them being offended? I'm telling you, the devil's in control and the people who are right, that's how you know the Bible's true, y'all. We're on enemy territory. Well, President Obama has designated... Well, President Obama has designated... President Obama, just the other day, June 24th, listen to me, I don't know why they won't tell the bulk of the American people this, went to that Stonewall Inn in New York City and made it a national monument. That's where the homosexuals came out in 1969 and the movement started right there. I, 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 I preach a whole message on 1969 and all the stuff that happened, Woodstock, stepping on the moon, tied to church, all that stuff that happened in 1969. Old famous song. We haven't had that spirit here since 1969. Right. The old rock song. Watch it now. It's Stonewall Inn in New York City, a national monument. A President national Obama song. made the announcement. We're going to come out throwing rocks at the police. That's a now a national monument. It makes me wonder whose side the president is on. Video released by the White House. The richness and diversity and uniquely American spirit that has always defined us. That we are stronger together. That out of many, we are one. Doctors have to retreat places that they're pretend sex, not what they really are, what they think they are. <laughs> Colleges say I'm saying clear. Now listen to this speech right after the killing down there in Orlando, Florida. Here's where we're headed. Mark my word. If Jesus don't come get us out of here, here's where we're headed. And this is what disgusts me the most about this tragedy. The make from politicians and from radical anti-LGBTQ -LGBT extremists right here in our own country. Every legislation that puts a target on the back of LGBT people. Every time we hear a preacher that spews hate from the pulpit. There's us, buddy. That's exactly what I'm doing tonight, according to them. I'm spewing hate. Now let me tell you something. Do you hear me? Get this clear. Here's where we stand as Christians. We do not hate anybody. We love everybody. It has nothing to do with hate, like, dislike. I have family members that ain't doing right. I love every one of them. God said certain things are wrong. God said certain things are right. We say it's wrong to commit murder. We don't hate murders. We say it's wrong to rob banks. Hey, 
How, how do you know it's wrong or right man? Because the Bible told us what it is a sin to steal. Same Bible calls it's a sin to be homosexual. Yes. So if, you, if the homosexual's not wrong, it ain't wrong to murder or rob banks or commit adultery or to lie or kill somebody. The whole society's breaking down right underneath us. To the flag, mention the word God. No, it's the star. I mean, the word God. A union. Right. It's the white star. Each star represents one individual state. And you've got to get that. The world today. Now listen to this. This will blow your mind if you know anything about the Bible. We've been preaching it for years and years and years. She said they are now talking in the UK about going to a cashless society. She's hard to understand. So listen real carefully. And she says, China, within five years, will have a new uh, currency. In 2016, the capital markets are changing shape as we watch. And the chief economist of the Bank of England suggests banning cash. I'm not making it. The Chamber of Commerce of the Bank of England has suggested banning cash. How come we didn't hear that one? That's big news, brother. Now it's going to a mark, it's going to a chip or some kind of tattoo or something on the right hand or in the forehead. Now the standard will always be gold. The book of Daniel talks about gold. Revelation, the Bible, in heaven, the streets are made of gold. We'll never go off the gold standard. It's always going to be the standard. But the, the mark will represent so much gold just like a dollar bill represents so much gold now. Listen to this. What she says, China's getting ready to do any of this up. And the People Bank, People's Bank of China announces it will set up its own virtual currency that will commence in a, a few years. What exactly is happening? I know what's happening. We're getting ready for the Antichrist to step yeah. in. is going to be transformed substantially and quite fun. Now, don't you listen to this. Especially all you people who spend a lot of time on computers and Facebook especially. Every time you go on Facebook, you're telling the whole world about yourself. They're going to know exactly what everything about you because of this. Fundamentally, uh, it might not even be a decade. It might be just five years. Five years, he said. And that transformation is being driven by some very profound changes uh, in technology. Uh, in today's day and age, what I know about you is truly mind-boggling. I, mean, I know who you are, where you live, all that stuff, but I know whom, I know when you turn on your television, I know which program you're watching, I know where you went to eat yesterday, I know where you're going to eat today, I know before you do which restaurant you're likely to go to in the next week. It's Already, because every time you go on Facebook, Advertisers look at what you like and it hooks you up to a whole big, that's why they call it the net, internet, the net like to catch fish in. Uh, to use these portable fingerprint scanners on anyone they believe could help them in an... And other companies from following your every move. <laughs> Do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? <laughs> in your own hunters on here. Kate Calabrese, Facebook hoards all those bits and pieces providing their companies. It's very creepy. Every time Kate signs onto another website through Facebook, she's letting another site track her. But all these thunder so fierce, it set off car alarms. Torrential rain fire region. Caused widespread flooding in London and the southeast of England. Um, let's have a look now at a shot of lightning. Uh, this strike, uh, hopefully, if it hasn't blown up, worst. <laughs> It's worth. This is in uh, London. This is over London. Um, Around the world right now. Overnight, Britain voting to leave the European Union, and then UK Prime Minister David Cameron surprising everyone, suddenly stepping down. Global markets across the world have been in a free fall. I know hardly nothing about the European market, but I think they've done a good thing, and I base my belief on our president being against it. I'm right. You watch. <laughs> the president's against him coming out. 
it must have done right. Every Friday and inside... You know weird? Every Friday at this Episcopal Church, I think it's a Protestant church, they're opening it up to Muslims to come in and fill it up and pray. This historic church, there's a call to prayer, answered by hundreds of Muslims. It's a Protestant church in America, people. You say, well, don't you think that's wonderful? No, I don't. You say, well, shouldn't we love everybody? Yes. Hey, go to Iraq. Don't you want to use their mosque to have a Holy Ghost prayer meeting? Cut your head off. We're stupid here in America. Our country's crazy. Muslims surrounded by Christian icons. Oh. Two religions, she's. It starts with people understanding me. Hands and feet of peace in the world, and how do we do that? Is by loving one another. She's crazy. Nothing to do with loving one another. I don't know if they ever thought that Muslims. This congregation? Yes. This is the biggest congregation that Church of Fitbit has, the Muslim prayers. Not only do they feed my stomach. The bond is homeless. Now, John and Carrie, according to Maricopa County, there's only now, man, get to the eight reported cases of West Nile so far this year, and they tell us that many of Made today when the Defense Department lifted one of the last bans on service in the armed in the forces. Army. Did y'all hear this on the news? Now Transgender people will now be allowed... Now listen, transgender people will now be allowed to serve openly, and they will be eligible for and, uh, any medically necessary care, including surgery. David Martin. That means us. Um, to see whoever they was. Fox had to rely on private insurance to cover her surgery, but from now on, the military will cover the... Look at that. But our old, our old soldier from days gone by turn over their grave if they say something like that. It's bad enough to do it, though, huh? That's not a necessary surgery. Cost of sex change operations approved by a doctor. Our doctors will treat... Dollar. The Prime Minister David Cameron also warned yesterday Brexit, that the that's UK is come out of the European economic times uh, ahead. Uh, the UK, the UFOs are popping up everywhere. And they're saying they come from Mars, come from another planet. Wrong. Wrong. They ain't coming from up there. What adds to the from down there. bus benches across Colorado Springs? Dozens of benches have these words on them, Jesus is Lord. But now City Public Works is in the process of reevaluating that advertised message after it got a complaint. Now, the pastor who started. Somebody complained and they don't want the word Jesus out there on those advertising messages. Not a great way You can advertise you liquor, you can advertise uh, uh, pornography, but not Jesus. We're supposed to Christ. break with the European Union. The aftershocks are rippling here again today. Wall Street opening the week with new losses for Americans and their 401ks. The Dow plunged another 260 points down 1.5%. They don't want you to know that. They want you to think everything's great. So you vote the British pound the, the person in of their choice. One year low against the dollar. What's the concern here at this point? Major level of uncertainty worldwide economically. In the UK, tensions running high. Listen to this voter, Tiffany Kennedy. He cast a decisive That is why the next presidential election is so important, folks. They're going to put in the Supreme Court judges that decide our future. Madam Manson said when he was a teenager, he was very interested in selling his soul. And we see what's happened to young people ever since. He tears up a Bible. Listen to his family. And when he tears up a Bible and cut a buck. Kurt Cobain said, that's where this stuff comes from. It comes out of the pit, and it comes out to sea, comes through into California, right into your headphones, the devil's coming to you. The devil's coming to get you, big kids. He's coming to get you through that music. See all the people dancing at the concert? Put your headphones in, crank that music up, the devil's coming right in your ears. Coming right in your ears. You smoke pot, he comes in quicker. And here's what the inconsequences will be, young people. It's hell forever. There'll be no concerts in hell. There'll be no people laughing in hell. There'll be nobody making a big joke, ain't no music, laughing and singing. See the multitudes there, see all the teenagers there. They got killed in car wrecks, that overdosed on drugs. Brother, it's no joke then. It ain't funny then. It's not a life, it's not a then. It's hell forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's right. Could you stand the torture? Could you stand the 
pain? Could you put your faith in Jesus when you're burning in the flame? No! Listen to the same. <laughs> You refuse to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and start mixing the other mind and you're going to hell and it'll be nobody's fault but you. Nobody's fault but you. You can't blame your mama. You can't blame your daddy. You can't blame them for getting divorced. You can't blame your wife and your husband. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Tonight, there's a story here we're going to tell you from Jason Cummins. That man shed his blood so you would not have to go to hell. You sat here all week long, maybe some of you, deep down in your heart, you know you're not saved. I would not wait one second longer. I'd get out of my seat. I'd get in this altar and I'd say, God, I want to know I want to be sure. Because hell forever and ever. You can't come back and try it again. You ain't going to reincarnate. It's over. You're done. You're done. God speaking to you tonight. I believe I'm still on my knees. God said, God help me. I'd sell it tonight. I'd sell it tonight. You've been listening to the wrong stuff, watching dirty movies, and all that. Get up! Come on. 